Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. And for this short video, I'd like to talk about what a hernia is and the most common form of hernias. Um, a hernia is a situation where some tissue is protruding through a wall or a membrane that should contain that particular tissue. So if I try to draw a little picture, This image represents the abdominal wall. Down here at the bottom of the abdominal wall, close to the genitals, there are two potential openings. In males, these openings are supposed to be there. They're called the inguinal canals. Up here inside of the abdominal cavity, of course, are the intestines, and I'll just draw these like so. There's intestines up here, there's adipose tissue up here, um, and of course there's fluid in this compartment, at least a small amount of fluid. Normally, through this inguinal canal is a tube that goes down to the male testicle. It's called the vas deferens. So this tube should only be large enough for the vas deferens to pass through. It shouldn't be any larger than that. But in some people, the inguinal canal enlarges, and it gets large enough so that intestines and other tissues can move down in through this inguinal canal. So in my drawing, I'll open up the inguinal canal a bit. And you can imagine possibly a piece of intestine coming down into here and looping back up. That would be an inguinal hernia, a severe inguinal hernia. The bad thing about it um, is that if a piece of intestine gets down in here, the piece of intestine can be strangulated in this place. Um, and that could cause death of this part of the small intestine. And that would, could eventually easily lead to somebody dying. Um, So that is the basics of an inguinal hernia. You should remember inguinal from um, the surface anatomy of the body. Inguinal region is down here. And you can imagine um, a person who comes in with an inguinal hernia, if it's bad enough, they'll actually have a big swelling in that part of their lower abdomen. So that's the basic gist of what a hernia is. It's um, tissue that is going through a membrane that should contain it. Um, to give you another example of a hernia, sometimes weightlifters will get these. I've seen it in weightlifters. Um, when the muscle grows faster than the outer tissues, and what happens is the outside tissue of the muscle, called the epimysium, develops a hole, and part of the muscle tissue can actually protrude through the hole. So that'd be a more simplistic hernia um, that might still require surgical repair. And this, again, the inguinal hernia is the most common type of hernia and probably one of the most dangerous. As always, if there's any questions, feel free to call or email me or whatever. And thank you once again for watching. Oh, I wanted to add on a short bit. Um, if you visit um, Wikipedia and look up inguinal hernia, they have a really good page that explains um, inguinal hernias in detail and it has some really good pictures of what ones actually look like on a person um, uh, from the outside and then also using a CT scan. So you might take a look at that. Wikipedia for inguinal hernia or for just hernias. <laughs> All right, thanks again.